components of your computer are input unit, output unit, central processing unit, which is nothing but the brain of the computer, which consists of ALU and other control units besides your memory and your bus structure. So the main components is your memory system, which has been associated with your central processing unit. And this central processing unit, it is going to be constituting your ALU and the control unit along with the registers and your program counter and catch memory. Catch memory is a temporary memory and the program counter is one when we give the instructions via the input to the memory system. So it will point to the first instruction that is to be performed. And of course, the CPU is going to be connected to the input output interface. Now, as far as the instructions or your functions of your computer are concerned, it is going to deal with the data processing. Either it is going to it is going to process the data or it is going to store the data or the data is going to be moved from one location to the required output location. And everything is going to be, all these functions are going to be coordinated by the control unit. Okay, so this control unit coordinates how the transfer of the information is going to take place as per the application. So as I told you, so the CPU is a brain of the computer, so which is responsible for carrying out all the computational tasks. So the main components of your CPU are your ALU, the control unit and the registers for storing the data. And you have your arithmetic and logic unit, which performs your arithmetic and logic operations and for coordinating all the uh, other ALU control unit will take the control signals depending upon the program and it in turn it executes it and also the registers as I told it is used for storing the data and the results and it speeds up the operation. Now we'll just take, take a small example of the control unit. Suppose I want to add two numbers, okay? I'm just fetching the data in two registers, namely R1 and R2. So when I'm going to get the data, the result of R1 and R2, the data which is stored in these registers, the data are called as the operands, okay? First, the data has to be read. This T1, T2, T3, T4 are called as your T cycles, okay. Usually it is called as a machine cycles because we know that data, whatever we are going to give or the instructions, what we are going to give to the computer, it is step by step. It is called as a program, okay. Whenever I'm going to give these two data, first it has to read the two data and then it has to store in the two registers. Then uh, instruction has to be given to the ALU depending upon whether I have to add two numbers or subtract two numbers. So this instruction, one, once it is fed, then it will add the two data. And next, we have to specify where the output has to be written. First, the initially, the data has to be read. Then the data has to be processed. Then in the T4 cycle, it will inform where the data has to be written. That is the result where it has to be stored. Usually, it is the accumulator which stores the result. So these kind of instructions are step by step. If you could see the processor, it divides the entire operations into basic steps. Okay, each basic step is executed in one clock cycle. So as I told you, suppose if I want to add the data which is stored in these two registers, first I have to enable the data R1, the data stored in R1, next I have to enable the data stored in R2. Then the T cycle 3 will represent the addition operation. Then whatever the output of your arithmetic and logic unit it has performed, it has to store it in a particular place. So just when we give 3 plus 2, it will give 5. But these are the, what are the various instructions a computer will do, how to do. Okay, it has to read the data, it has to add it and it has to 